Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft 1.15.1 server. Now at this point I am assuming that you already have a Forge Minecraft 1.15.1 server set up. If you do not have a Forge 1.15.1 server, you can check out the I at the top of your screen. It will show you how to set up a Forge server in Minecraft 1.15, so you can then come to this tutorial and see how to add mods to it. Additionally, if you want to set up a server even easier than that tutorial is going to walk you through, the best option for you is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS Minecraft server running Forge in just a few clicks. It is very, very simple and very, very easy. And you get Forge up and running, like I said, in just a few clicks in under five minutes on a Minecraft server with no port forwarding and not having to worry about running it on your own computer at all. You can then add mods to it all from their web interface. It is super, super easy. And that is the best and the easiest way to set up a Minecraft server. We actually love them so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great place for you and your friends to enjoy an awesome Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the best way to do it. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So again, I'm assuming you've already got a Forge server set up. I'm also assuming you've already got Forge downloaded and installed, which you can see how to do from the second link down below. The second link down below will take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge, something you will have to do in order to join your Forge server. I also go over how to do that in my Forge server tutorial. That way, if you've went through that, it's already done. It's already set up. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is obviously download some mods, and they're just not many <laughs> Minecraft 1.15.1 mods out right now because it came out yesterday. So because of that, there's not a ton of mods out, but there are three pretty cool mods that we can install here. The first being Ore Excavation. This is basically Vein Miner, but for Minecraft 1.15.1. If you're familiar with Vein Miner, it allows you to mine entire veins of ores at one time, but also cut down entire trees with just one click. You can bulk harvest things like wheat and carrots. You can even do things like pick up all of like a bunch of grass, a bunch of dirt, a bunch of stone, all with just one click simply and easily. It is absolutely incredible. And uh, overall, just a very, very simple and a very, very easy way to make sure that, you know, you can mine as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded. To do that, you want to look over here on the right-hand sidebar, scroll down, and you'll see Minecraft 1.15 here. And then go ahead and click on that purple download button under Minecraft 1.15 next to that version of Ore Excavation. You'll then have to wait five seconds, and the download will begin automatically in the bottom left. You will need to keep this file if you're on Google Chrome, or save it if you're on Mozilla Firefox. It's it's safe to do so as long as our excavation is in the title, which it is, so we can keep the file on Google Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. The next mod we're going to be installing, which is a pretty cool one, is Packing Tape. This is a mod that allows you to quickly and easily move chest and things like that from one area to another without removing all the stuff inside. So let's say you're rearranging your storage room, for example. Packing tape will allow you to do that without having to worry about all the stuff and all the items and stuff like that that is inside the chest. So you need to go there get that and move everything. You can do that with packing tape very, very easily. Overall, it's a pretty simple mod. Now, you can also move mob spawners with it in Minecraft 1.14, but you do need to change some config files. But nevertheless, it is a pretty cool mod. So let's go ahead and get that downloaded. To do that, again, we're going to look on the right-hand side, scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.15, and then here we do see packing tape-1.15.1. We're going to click on that purple download button next to it. Just like with the excavation, it's going to take us off here where we are going to need to click that keep button in the bottom left. So boom, download after five seconds. We do need to keep the file. It's safe to keep the file as long as it does say packing tape, which it does on Mozilla Firefox. It's asked you to save the file in the center of your screen. Again, safe to save it as long as it says packing tape in the title. You're starting to get this, I'm pretty sure, but there's one more mod that I want to go over here, and that is useful backpacks. And useful backpacks is pretty cool because it has three different sizes of backpacks plus an ender backpack that you can craft and add items to. So that means, you know, expand your inventory by just adding in one inventory slot and being able to put tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff in that backpack. Backpack mods are actually one of my favorite things that I uh, have seen in Minecraft honestly ever, right? Like I, back in the day, back in 1.7.10, okay, I remember using backpack mods because I think it is so cool. Useful backpacks is a newer one, but it is updated for Minecraft 1.15.1. 
This does require a core mod. We're gonna download that as well, but I don't wanna mention it here. I'm not gonna to go too in depth of the core mod here. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and again, scroll down and on the right-hand sidebar under Minecraft 1.15, we do have 1.15.1 useful backpacks. Go ahead and click on that purple download button there under Minecraft 1.15. It will take us off where we have to wait five seconds and you guessed it, we're gonna to need to keep the file on Google Chrome and save it on Mozilla Firefox. There we go, keep the file on Google Chrome, save on Mozilla Firefox, it's completely safe to do so. Then we also do need to download Uteam Core. This is just the core mod that is required for useful backpacks. We can scroll down here under 1.15, download the 1.15.1 version. Wait five seconds, we'll need to keep or save the file. I'm not gonna go over that too in depth this time. Boom, keep the file, save it on Mozilla Firefox. And finally, if we minimize our browser, here on my desktop I have four mods and one server. So we have Ore Excavation, we have Packing Tape, we have useful backpacks, and then we have Uteam Core, which is required for useful backpacks to run. We also have our Forge server, 1.15.1, right? All set up and ready to go with the run.bat file and the forge server.jar, all of that's in there. And you need to go watch our video if your Minecraft server does not have that stuff, right? You need to go watch our video on how to make a forge server in order to get that stuff, and then you'll be good to go. Now, if these mods aren't on your desktop, they're gonna be in your downloads folder. And to find that, click on the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's in the bottom left of your screen, most likely but it's going to be in the top and bottom left of your screen, top or bottom left of your screen, I should say. Go ahead and click on that. And then in here, you want to type in downloads and then have this downloads file folder in Windows here. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, you'll find all of these mods. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we need to go ahead and get these mods installed on our server. To do that, go ahead and double click on your server folder. Then you'll have a mods folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that mods folder. Then take all of these mods and drag and drop them into your mods folder, right like so. I actually copy and paste it because we're also going to need to install these locally. How do we do that? Well, there's a few different ways, but I'm gonna go over the way that works for all versions of Forge since the beginning of time. And that way is by clicking on the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's in the bottom left of your screen. Again, same Windows icon we clicked on earlier. This time, though, we're gonna type in Run, are you in? You'll have this Run app, this Run desktop app here. Click on that. And then in this Run desktop app, this text box here, you wanna type percent APP DATA percent, percent at data percent, and hit enter. This will open up your roaming folder here. And in here, you'll have your dot Minecraft folder. Then you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have the mods folder that's probably okay as long as you do have forge installed already as well to get a mods folder just right click on the white space create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder now take uteam core useful backpacks packing tape and aware excavation and drag and drop them into your mods folder right like so now we need to go ahead and open up minecraft 1.15 and then we'll be able to uh, get things up, ro uh, rocking and rolling. So we're opening up Minecraft 1.15.1 here, but we wanna make sure that it is the Forge version. So if we click on the little arrow over here to the left, we have a Forge version. If you don't, you need to go install Forge locally using our tutorial, the breakdown.xyz slash Forge, found in the description down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on that Forge profile there, and then we can go ahead and click play. At this point, we also wanna open up our Minecraft server folder and double click on our run.bat file to get our server up and running as well with the mods installed. What's actually kind of cool is that we'll be able to see over here the, the mods activating, right, in our server as it loads up. The same can actually be true true for Forge as well, but um, I had our server folder over that part of Forge. But nevertheless, it's gonna go ahead and open here. Minecraft 1.15.1, did show not responding for a second there, but then as you can see, it's loading right on in without much of any problems. If you do have any problems opening Minecraft 1.15.1 with mods, most likely that's because you need to add more RAM or unfortunately the mod's not compatible and it's just not working. That can be a thing, especially this early on when Forge is in beta. But as you can see, we are done over here. We have saved the chunks and done is there. If we click on our mods tab here, we'll be able to see packing tape, useful backpacks, U-Team Core, and Ore Excavation. Awesome stuff there. So let's go ahead, click on multiplayer. I am just going to direct connect to our IPv4 address so we don't have to block that one out. So we can just do 168.1.1, uh, two, three, there we go. And then we can join in and you'll see me join in over here and it'll all log on in and everything like that. And boom, there we are in game. Now I'm opt on this server and that allows me to go ahead and hit E and do things like check what backpacks there are and see all these different backpacks here. So we can get a small backpack, we can get a medium backpack, we can get a large backpack and then we can get an ender chest backpack. 
Now I'm also going to go ahead and get some packing tape here, right like so, and some paper because you do need paper for the packing tape mod. And then we're also gonna go ahead and I guess I'll grab a chest because we'll need to move that. I'll grab an ender chest and then I'll just grab like, I don't know, 64 blocks of dirt as well because we'll need to test that later. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, start off by opening these backpacks. As you can see, we have the small backpack here, the medium backpack, the large backpack, and the ender chest backpack all on the server. If you look over here, you'll be able to see that I did join in on the server. Um, there we go. Nix Games logged in with Entity ID. So there you go, there is that. Now the Ender Chest backpack is cool, so we place down the Ender Chest here, and then let's say put all of our other backpacks into it, and then open our Ender Chest backpack. We can see all of those are in there, and we can remove them and do whatever we want to with them. So that is a pretty cool thing. Now the Packing Tape mod is cool because we can go ahead and put all of our paper in here, except like, I don't know, six or something like that. We can go ahead and put our Ender Chest in there, put all of this dirt in here, and we can even throw some backpacks in here if we want. We'll just put all of our backpacks in there actually why not and then put this paper back in there as well right like so and then we can go ahead and move this chest you might be like what we can move it yes we can so we go into game mode survival here we can shift click on that and it turns it into this like packed up sort of a thing there now if we go ahead and click on it boom it'll break it into a block and we can run this like anywhere we want like we can run it right over here kind of get a better view of this valley boom and place this down right click on it to remove the packing tape and all of the items and stuff are in there one more time shift click on it break the block we can move it wherever we want maybe back over to this side get a nice view of that village there place this block down right click on it and boom everything is still in there super cool mod quick and easy to move chest and stuff now there's one more mod that we do need to take a look at here and that is going to be the ore excavation mod and so let's go ahead and get that real quick if we go ahead and grab ourselves a diamond shovel a diamond pickaxe and of course a diamond axe go back into survival now the ore excavation basically control is going to be different for everybody i'm going to go ahead and set mine to h by default is the uh comma or whatever you want to call that it's next to one on your keyboard but i like mine to be sorry g and then we can just simply hold g and click on this snow and it removes all of that snow what if we want the uh what if we want the grass boom what if we want the dirt there we go what if we want to remove all of this like uh you know this stone very quickly and easily just dig a hole all the way down to the depths of the earth we can do that with this mod quickly and easily i don't think it's gonna let me to do it now that i'm starving but yeah you kind of get the point it is up and running i'm gonna go ahead and go back into creative because yeah can you use or excavation in creative i'm curious let's give it a shot G, no, you can't. Anyway, there you all have it. That is how you can set up all of these awesome mods in Minecraft 1.15.1. All of the mods are going to be installed the exact same way. You're just going to add them into uh, your mods folder on your server, add them into the mods folder locally, and then you're good to go. All of your friends will need to install all of your mods locally as well. So that is something that you do need to keep in mind if, you know, you're going to be running your server with a bunch of friends on it maybe make a mod pack that way they can all install the mods pretty easily and uh, get all that up and running but nevertheless thank you all so so much for watching if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy all of the mods on your newly created forge server if you have any questions again you can just let us know in the comment section down below more than willing to help you out come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse it means a ton if you just come play on it enjoy it and check it out but nevertheless thank you all so so much for watching my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace